This is Dolan TV, guys. A big welcome back to NHL 17. It's the Edmonton Oilers franchise mode. And another trade for you guys today. we got to figure out how we're going to fill the left wing. There's no good left wingers in free agency except for Mike Hoffman, who wants $9 million, and we can't afford that. So we're going to go pick up this Michael Johansson dude from the Columbus Blue Jackets. He's a two-way forward. 83 overall offensive awareness, but overall he's not too bad. He's a very good defensive forward, so that should really help us out on that second line. Second line's always been a line where the plus minus is bad on this team, so let's propose trade. Trade rejected. So maybe we have to up that third to a second for next year and see what we can get out of it. As we'll give up our second, I got no problem with that. Let's see, trade rejected still. Uh, it seems you'd be better willing us to give us something outstanding. Okay, so they're still not willing to budge. I'll give them another prospect. I don't care about that. That is not an issue as we've got a lot of prospects in the system. You see here, Zharkov, um, that's not going to work. Maybe a defenseman add to their totals here. Wilsey is a low top six. We can't give him up. But somebody who's in AHL, maybe, I don't know. Not Trombley. Trombley is going to be something one day. Maybe this Fane kid who's unsigned. Let's see what Fane's worth to them. And let's see, this should be good. Trade rejected still. So they really don't want to give up Johansson. That's about as much as I can offer. So we're going to have to go rolling in. Guys, like I said, this is a rebuilding year. I've tried everything to get more players to this team. But unfortunately, we doomed ourselves. It is a rebuilding year this year. And that's just the way it's going to be. So we aren't going to sign any free agents unless we can find any studs in the uh, in the free agent pool to sign. That's what I wanted to check is just uh, if there's any potential kids that we can sign. Let's see, exact potential. Low elite Sergachev, who's 26 years old. That's not going to work. Low top six Matheson at 74 overall. That's not going to work. Um, lots of 25 year olds, lots and lots of 25 year olds. There's a 20 year old low top nine, Tarnstrom. Let's see what Tarnstrom wants. He wants 7.5. We can give him an 8.75 entry contract and that should give us quite a chance at him. Let's see, are there any other kids we need to be aware of? Asplund, a couple of guys here, anything? Uh, nothing much here. Is this all top nine forwards, low top nine? Medium top six, somebody like uh, Rogers here wouldn't be a bad pickup in case we need someone. Is he a two-way defenseman or an offensive defenseman? He's a defensive defenseman. I can take him. We'll offer him a contract as well, see if we can fill out the farm team a little bit. And this Car Carton kid is also looking pretty good. He's a defensive defenseman as well. So maybe not the best pickup at all here for us. We'll avoid him. <coughs> but Bjorkstrand here, defensive defenseman as well, so teams are really not biting on the defensive defenseman. <coughs> Pardon me as I'm battling the sneezes, Jesus, brutal. But I uh, see a couple good kids in here as well in the low bottom six forwards, nothing doing here though. There's a couple top seven defensemen, really nothing spectacular either. And that's probably all it's going to be is HL top six now, and that's fine by me. Let's go see the goalies here and see what there is in terms of goaltending. Oh, pardon me. Medium starter in Galliardi, who's 77 overall at 26 years old. 72 fringe starter, so there's no one really worth value of picking up. So guys, that's where we're going to leave it. That's the free agent signing period for us. Just boosting the farm team, really. That's it. We got to roll into year number nine with a little bit more of a hurting squad than normal, but that's fine by me. We'll be good. If we even this team's not a President's Trophy winning team, but it is a team that can get something done. Tarnstrom accepts our offer, so he'll be down there on the farm club this year. That's huge. Farm club really needs extra time. Ivan Kennan's re-signed, so we've got more defensemen. Kerry Pierna's Three signs, so that's huge. We've got Pyrna's back. And we've got to see if we can get Sven Deminder. And there we go. Cody Deminder has been tendered an offer sheet for 
of 3.780 for two years by the San Jose Sharks for Miami in six days based on the salary uh, take compensation. We're taking that 2025 second overall draft pick because now all of a sudden we can work a package if we need to for a defenseman. Oscar Kleffbaum to the Oilers for Grigoranko. Really, Oscar Kleffbaum back to the Oilers? I don't like this trade because we've already had Kleffbaum in this GM mode. And I mean, he's only out of 78 overall, so what is going on there? I don't want Oscar Kleffbaum at 78 overall. Grigoranko, one of our primer studs, top nine forward, other forward right now, but he looks to be a great kid for the future, right? So we should be fine there. That does not look like a trade. Stanley Matheson accepts our offer, so our RFA is coming through. Lassie Lajunin and Josh Hamlin all accept our offers. Orlando Ray accepts our offer, so we're tendering our free agents and getting them back. Ulf Gustafson back, he was tendered, so we're finally matching up our team again for the first time in a while, and this is good. Our farm club really needs to develop this year, take the next step, and be a 40-win club down there in the farm system. I mean... What would that be? 40, 25, and 3. That would be a great record over 68 games. And we're going to get through August here. This is the end of the free agent period. The first two months of free agency. Nothing going on there. We should be fine to roll into September now. Set the promotion nights. View the owner goals and see what we can do as the GM of the Edmonton Oilers. 98% sold the season tickets. So that's a pretty good number. I'm not complaining about that at all. That's an awesome, fantastic number for us. 98% compared to some GM modes you see. Uh, past, uh, hey, we earned the 90% uh, of the draft. We've earned an extra $167,000 for budget. That's solid for us. And we're going to view the owner goals, see what's up. Be a serious contender. I want us to improve our top six forward group. Okay. I want us to win our regular season home opener, that's tough. The team store needs to be a little nicer, upgrade it, and that's it. So we're doing good there. Let's go see what the lines look like going into this season. I'm excited to see the rebuild, mini rebuild. It's not really a rebuild when you have Connor McDavid, but he has to understand what we're going through. And you see here we've got Pooley Arby, McDavid, Keating, Dolphin, Ehlers, all those. Glenn Lowe's on the third line this year is a minor scoring forward that's not going to work um defensively we've got to get schumacher out of there unless uh unless our defensive stud we picked up in harvey is not ready but harvey is ready to come up to the nhl so we have to get harvey up to the nhl this year and are there anyone else we need to be aware of Ulf gustafson needs to come up to the nhl and play on the left wing up there in the NHL. He's a sniper. He should help out. I mean, Tarnstrom, a right wing sniper as well. He should be good to play some games for us as well. So things looking good. Let's, uh, I know we best lines this and where is Josh Hamlin? Obviously Hamlin's up on the NHL club right now. So let's see who's got no lines right now. We've got no lines scratched. We've got Hodges, Spructus, and Hamlin. We need to send all those guys down to the AHL. Spructus, he's about one year away from being our backup goaltender, maybe even this year. He should be good. So guys, I'm going to need lines from you guys. We're going to call up Ulf Gustafson, probably leave Orlando Ray up here or someone else to fill in in case of injury, guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like, and I will catch you guys in the next one.